because it was in the state, they didn't really care about everything. So like, they would like roll up, roll up to me, try and steal my bike, just like stuff that was like really like, immature and like just really no point of doing just because they're bored. But I, 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 I was really glad that I escaped from that at a young age. I think I would, I think I probably would be in a gang. Oh, I only heard about circus last year. I didn't really understand what circus was. I thought it was just like clowns, juggling. I started physical movement around 2005 when I first started secondary school. And um, as soon as it hit 2010, that's when I just went for the whole two year course for college of dance, just strictly. And it bettered my skills and gave me more variety within movement and stuff like that. Well, I grew up on, well, the streets, basically, of London. Um, more of a hood rat, to be quite honest with you, from Penge. My name is Romario. I'm 13 years old. My name's CC. I'm 19 years old. Uh, name's Michael Close, and I'm 21. Well, I started working for Cirque du Soleil in 2000 and helped create a completely new show. Romario, when he joined, yeah, yeah, he's just raw talent. He's a little bit of a whirlwind at times. His, his development is more of a, an emotional development than, say, a technical one. It's helped me with um, like practical stuff at, at school because I'm usually like loads of my people in school are very tired and I feel like I'm one of the fittest people in my school because of what I do outside of school. I think it also provides a safe environment for young people who perhaps are self-taught on the street and they usually don't have a place where they can go and learn those skills or even just practice those skills off their own backs. There's a bigger part of what we do, which is social development and, and social inclusivity. It gave me something to do every Saturday instead of stay at home or going out all the time. So it made me feel like I'm gaining something. Cece is, she's like a, she's almost a law unto herself because she works so hard and so diligently. She's got all the drive in the world and she's got all the ability in the world. Yeah, I've learned to be more confident with, within myself, within everything, everyday stuff. Um, I never used to conversate much with people because I'd feel I'd be judged all the time. The actual mentoring and the teaching side is, is straightforward. I think the Roundhouse has got some really great teachers and great mentors and great examples of, um, of the industry. When I first started, I felt out of my comfort zone, but then I thought, put, put my mind to it, and when we had to do the acro, it sort of made me feel, maybe if I get that right and I control it, maybe I can control the movement within the street styles that we do. So then I thought, OK, maybe I'm going to get somewhere. It's given me skills, but if I don't put in any effort, I won't gain the skills. So it's a good opportunity, and you have to grab it whilst you can. But I think if I didn't do this, I don't know what I'd be doing, to be honest. I don't know if I'd be as flexible if I'd be as determined and confident within myself as a person, generally. How do I sum up the Roundhouse? It's full of good people, people that actually want to work with young people and make their lives better. They, they introduced me to street circus and stuff like that, and from there I said to them, like, I want to get involved and stuff, and they put all their effort into getting me involved. If anyone can get onto the Roundhouse, I'd have strongly advised them to do it because they've changed my life. And if they can change my life, then they can change a load of other people's lives. If, if this leads me on to something better, I, could, I, I would want to become a professional performer because these, this, this can actually happen because I have the opportunity of being a professional and opportunity of just getting better at tricks when I know professional could mean much more like virtual uh, opportunities for me. They don't have to have a quantifiable accolade or achievement to get a sense of belonging, a sense of identity, a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning. Just to get a taste of what a little bit of confidence can do, like within circus everyone can find something they're good at. 
I hope that it can reach out a lot further and spread its wings and help more people. If you've got a passion, there's an open door.